All right, here we go. I'm gonna get started with this new painting. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, the painting that, you, that you're seeing there is a painting that I finished earlier on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should wanna, you should go check it out. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is the new canvas that we're gonna do right now. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about trust and um, how to trust what you're doing as an artist. And one of the things that I've done over the years in order to learn how to trust myself is to simply start letting go. But letting go in, in a different way. Letting go, in, it, it's not necessarily letting go like... Uh, like not like I don't care, but like I don't know. It's a very different thing. I don't care and I don't know is, is two different things. Okay. Uh, I don't care means 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 uh, almost I'm apathetic. To, uh, I'm apathetic. I think it's the word to it. And I don't know is I care, and therefore won't judge. Right. I I, I don't know means I care, but I won't judge. And this is what I want to show you guys. The style of painting, this loose style of painting, is I care, but I will not judge. It is my belief that this is how Vincent van Gogh painted. Okay, it's my belief that this is how Vincent van Gogh painted. This is how many of the artists, especially especially the post-impressionists, but also the impressionists, this is how they painted in, in an I don't, I don't know stand. Monet expressed it all the time, and and we have we have you know recordings of uh not recordings as in, as in audio but recordings of him saying uh that when you look at something don't think of it don't judge it don't name it it's a very it's a very eastern philosophy very zen very uh uh what do we call that um almost i don't know awakened state you know that Monet expressed right there and, and and that comes out of trust guys trust is everything when it comes to painting no trust no art our art itself is the individual trusting okay it's it's the practice I used to think that it was the practice of observation and it is to a certain degree but art itself not just painting art itself is the practice of trust it is the trust in the universe is trust in in a higher power and when the when the individual is painting from a state of zen which doesn't mean the individual lives there but the individual can paint in a state of zen it's because the individual the artist and in, in our case has complete trust and it's painting in what is also known as right action it's right action painting you, there is nothing wrong you can do when you're painting from trust. God, the universe, however you want to call it, is leading the way. So you are as a, as a little child holding its hand. There is nothing you can be afraid of. There's nothing you should fear. Everything you're doing is right action. It is it, God, the universe, is inviting you to play. Right, you you have been granted the keys of the kingdom. In other words, let's call it that, uh, for a little bit at least. You know, I don't know, for a little bit at least. This is why Cezanne used to say, "If I think everything is lost, right?" His his, his famous quote is, "If I think everything is lost." One of his famous quotes, anyways, because because when you're trusting, you cannot think because thinking is friends with judgment. You know, and and the great J C. The, the great Christ used to say, right, do not judge. This is really another form of saying, do not overthink. Do not, do not over, over, yeah, do not overanalyze, right? Do not, do not overthink because you will fall into judgment. You will create judgment. And it is my belief that the great artists of history are not are practice painting without thinking. I really, I sincerely believe that with all my heart. 
these artists. Um, this whole thing that I've been preaching about, don't think when you paint, this is not new, this is old as, as, as anything, right? As anything. It's very old. And, uh, and it's, for me anyways, it's truly the only way to paint. Any other way is is a false is a false painting. Not false doesn't bad, right? But but regardless of how you paint, whether you paint realism or expressionism or impressionism or whatever, there has to be there has to be a point somewhere in there where you are not painting, but the great the great power is painting, not you. Because the great power it flows through all of us, right? So there's got to be a point where the great power is painting. And the great power is not judgmental. The great power is not, it's not prejudiced. It's not racist. It's not, it's not, has no ideas, negative ideas of anything. The great power is all pure, right? The great power, the great power allows you to paint in this way. Um, because it is a gift the great power wants to offer the artist. It is a gift. It's almost again. It's almost as if, as if it is holding you by the hand, and it's it's allowing you to play. Right. The the artist, the true artist, understands that the artist does not paint, but is a conduct. It is a conduct. The artist, the true artist, is a conduct of. Of that which has no name, right? The true artist knows that. The rest of us are trying to figure that out. <laughs> and this is the highest form of painting. It's right action where you trust so much as a child trusts, right? The child trusts. When the child is born, the child trusts. The child trusts that it will be fed. The child, the child trusts that, that it will be provided. The child does not think in lack. Lack is imposed by society. Right? So when, when you paint, you must become a child. It, it's, it's impossible in my understanding of being an artist all these years. It is impossible to paint without doing it in a childlike state of mind. As a matter of fact, there's no way you have a chance. You could be you could be a painter, but there's no way you're doing artwork unless you are painting from a child's uh, position, a childlike mind. There's there's no way. It's just it's impossible. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's impossible. So. Every time that you paint, um, and, and here's another thing also, when you find yourself that you are not being, um, you're not in right action, you're not in flow, some people call it flow, um, practice. Practice will be your best friend. Practice, 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 long hours, okay? It's not one hour or two, it's long hours, long hours. This is what Picasso used to say, I believe, in inspiration. Inspiration, he was, he was talking about flow or, or, or the, 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 the state of, the, the present state, right? Because when you're in present state, you're not judging, you're moving, you're dancing, right? You're dancing. You're not, you're not, there is, there is no judgment. And, and uh, this is what Picasso used to say, I believe in inspiration, but it has to find you working. So, so if you don't feel that you are in the state of, of completeness when you're painting uh, my advice is practice you gotta practice more so that you're able to enter that state and 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 enter it at will also you know it's very important to enter it at will because um, because it's so much fun so I'll leave you guys with that I hope uh, this made any sense my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.